Hello, hello, hope you're all well. Guess what arrived in the post today? It's the um, October Glossy Box. And I was really excited. I wanted to rip it open and start looking what was inside as soon as I signed for it, but I thought, no, wait to do a nice unboxing of it and um, do your review of the um, September one at the same time. So I've been very restrained. I have to say, it has, you know, it has been trying. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd whip straight up here um, into the office so I could do a review for you. So, um, first thing we got in the London box, which if you remember was the lovely London edition. It was supposed to be sort of just London, London glamour really, I, I, I guess is what you, what you'd call it. Um, so in no particular order, I'm just going to go through some of the products, um, kind of say what I thought. Um, you have to excuse my hair, I'm having a frizzy day. I had it cut um, a couple of days ago and um, I'm not 100% happy with the cut this time. It's kind of not laying straight, so just have to excuse that. Um, so yeah, one of the products we got in the box was the, um, the Classic Tony and Guy Limited Edition Gloss Serum. Now... I am sure that for someone who has got lovely, straight, long hair, this would be a lovely product because it smells lovely. It smells not too overpowery, it smells like a really nice, clean smell. Um, but for my hair type, as you can see, frizzy and curly, it, it wasn't good. It For my hair type, um, it just left me looking greasy even though I just put it on the ends you know I didn't put it like near the roots or anything um it left my hair feeling quite greasy um and not shiny at all sort of more more sticky I mean my hair doesn't shine most curly hair doesn't shine it's just the you know unless you put like found the right product for you and you know, I mean, my hair is in a healthy condition. I can, you know, I wash it a couple of times a week and I condition it and use leave-in conditioner. And this just did not do anything for it. So it didn't leave my hair glossy. Um, and it didn't help with any of the frizz. I need to put stuff in my hair that helps to tame the frizz. Um, so this did this did nothing for my hair type whatsoever. Um, that being said, I'm sure if you had straight hair, it was probably really lovely. So if you do have straight hair, I guess perhaps you kind of go on YouTube and see if someone else is doing a review of the September box um, to see what they thought of that product. So very nice packaging, but product, no. Um, the, so I'm going to give this away to a friend. Um, this one was a 30ml um, bottle and the retail for that was 7 dollars So yeah, definitely not buying that because that's too expensive for not doing anything for my hair. Um, on the other products we received were the um, Eilure, Eilure, Eilure pre-glued lashes. Um, I occasionally wear um, false lashes when I'm kind of going to a really glamorous function. Um, I didn't have any, haven't had any to go to September, October, so I haven't worn them. Um, so I can't comment. Um, they probably won't even wear them till nearer Christmas, maybe. So, yeah. So, not my favourite item in the box because I'm not really one for, you know, full side lashes. But, you know, they, they look good. They look nice anyway. So, we'll, we'll, maybe I'll use them one day. Okay, so they were the two sort of meh products. Um, then I go on to like some of the really nice ones. Um, so we've got a sample of um, the new Elizabeth Arden Untold fragrance, which was um, mm -mm. doesn't say. Um, I was just looking on the card that we got with it. Oh, sorry, yes, it does. It's five mil, um, so that works out at four pounds eighty for the five mil, um, which um, it's not bad at all. As you can see, I've used it quite a lot. I thought I'd give these products a thorough a thorough use and a thorough testing. I I really liked this actually. Um, I was giving it a thorough testing and wearing it quite a lot because I was kind of wanting to see what it was like. Um, it wasn't for me, it's not an everyday perfume. It's quite rich, quite powerful. Um, I mean, what do they say? They say it's a floral fragrance. 
um, which, I guess, which I guess it is, but it's quite, for me, it's quite strong. So this would probably be more of um, an evening fragrance or one that you'd wear to like a nice function or a date or, you know, going out, that kind of thing. Um, you know, for me, it was just a bit too strong as an everyday perfume. I like something a little bit lighter. That being said, I really did enjoy this perfume. Um, I, I actually don't tend to buy perfume because I get perfume bought for me um, for Christmas and birthdays um, and um, I've always worn perfumes by, by Hugo which so my mum always buys me a Hugo perfume um, so this would be one that I'd have to specifically put on my list um, which I would to be honest with you um, I do did really like that and um, would definitely wear that again but as I say for for an evening um, evening fragrance um, and we had the Be A Bombshell um, eyeliner in Onyx, um, which is by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. And this was a three gram, was it definitely three gram? Or three mil, three mil, um, retailing at $14. And you can buy that from BeABombshell.com. Um, I, I really enjoyed using this. Um, took a while to get used to. I'm wearing it today, I don't know if you can see. I haven't actually applied it very well today and I have touched my face. I'm a big face toucher. Um, and I need an eyeliner that, or, you know, eye makeup that kind of stands up to that kind of constant, like, touching. Um, this is good if you allow it to dry really well. Um, otherwise it does, does smudge. It's not massively hard wearing and really durable, but it is really nice. I did enjoy wearing it. It was really easy to apply um, if, for the you know the cat's eye effect um it's a felt tip basically um which is interesting i've never really used one before i've always used pencil um so that was that was nice it took a while to get used to i hope you can so i hope you can see that so it's like a felt tip pen basically but it's eyeliner um it took a while to get used to because i'm used to use doing pencils um, but sometimes pencils can be a little bit hard and abrasive on the eye, which this wasn't. And it also wasn't really runny and liquid and hard to control like a liquid eyeliner. So it's somewhere in between. Um, but it is just like using a, a, you know, a felt tip pen on your eye. Um, so it took a little bit of experimenting. Um, really nice kind of dark colour though. Um, as I say, you do need to let it dry because it is a bit of a bugger, it does smudge. Um, and also it does smudge, a, did for me, smudge a little bit during the wear. Um, only a little bit, but I didn't have to reapply. Um, just a few sort of, sort of smudges here and um, here and there. Um, so I would buy this, I definitely would buy this. It, again, it wouldn't be an everyday wear for me. Um, because it is quite dramatic, you know, it does create quite a dramatic line. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I did really enjoy it, and I would buy it again. Um, the only thing that probably put me off is because it's um, an American brand, you have to buy it online. Unless, if you know anywhere that you can buy this in the UK, um, let me know. Um, but the only thing that perhaps put me off is the shipping. I haven't checked out how much the shipping would be, but that would be the only thing sort of stopping me buying that, really. Um, but. I did really enjoy it and I shall continue to use it and if I find it sort of in the, anywhere in the UK or if it's got a decent postage then I would rebuy that after it's run out so yeah like that and then last but not least we had the um, HD Brows Blusher which is available from hdbrows.com um, and the this, is the this was the full size and retails at £17.95 so this was really good for you know the the box because it's a full size and and it's expensive and I loved it so this was a definite definite thumbs up for me I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can see it very well um I thought I was a bit skeptical at first when I saw the color and let me just so I can show you the color I'll just pop that in front so you don't get blinded. So that's the colour. I don't know if the camera's picking it up all that well. But it is, I thought it was quite a bright pink to begin with. Um, that being said, it just worked with my skin tone really well. I was really impressed. Um, and it does say, this versatile blusher suits all skin tones and creates a beautiful glow. 
and I was re I was genuinely really impressed. I tended to use it quite a bit more with my um, with my own brush rather than um, the applicator pad because it comes with a pad in there and then it's got like this little plastic flippy so it protects protects it. The well, the powder was quite loose. Um, it's pressed, but it is a little bit, little bit loose. But I thought it was a really good quality product, and I really liked it. Really enjoyed using it. I've used it pretty much every day since I've got it, and there's got still a lot of life in there. I've kind of put some of my other blushes to the side, and I'm only using this at the moment, so that probably shows you how much I love it. So I would definitely, definitely buy that. Um, and what's even more, I've got a twenty percent off coupon. So that's that's really good um so yeah that's a massive 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 thumbs up from me i really enjoyed using that so so yeah so um there we go that's my review of the september um 2013 glossy box um if you had one let me know um in the comments what you thought of yours because i'd be really interested to know um and let's do the um unboxing apologize if the video is a bit long um, but I think it's really important to do like a thorough review otherwise what's the point point at, at all you know and if you're interested in buying a box you want to know what's in it and what other people think as well so yeah so this is it let's let's open the box uh, uh, uh. oh well that was useful wasn't it <gasps> I just torn a little bit off the side right Okay, dun, 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 dun. here we go. So we've got the little um, glossy box magazine again. I didn't really mention that from September because it wasn't really massive. It was just like a little thing. It was pleasant to read for a cup of tea. So while having a cup of tea, there we go. Let you can see that it's kind of like a minky pinky color, um, and it's oh very pretty. Oh, it's pretty. A minky colour. How pretty is that? Let's take the lid off. Ooh, dark romance is the theme, and it's very sophisticated looking. Look at that! Oh, that looks very sophisticated indeed. So let's let's have a look inside. So I don't like to pull it open. It looks so lovely. But let's 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 do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. The ribbon's really nice. I was going to save that for packaging. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, let me just undo the sticky label that's holding the tissue together. I probably it probably got shaken up in the um, in the transit. So here we go. Let's peel back. Let's peel back. Yay! I got some shredded paper. <laughs> um, yeah it definitely got jumbled up so I need to take the shredded paper out to actually get the products because they've all fallen to the bottom so let's go oh it looks like there's a lot less in this box than the last box look can you see that mm. First impressions, not as impressed. That last box had lots of nice full size things in. But anyway, let's press on. So, what first thing? Killer Queen by Katy Perry. This is the perfume. Just a little sample spritzer there. So let's see. Killer Queen fragrance. The new striking fragrance from Katy Perry shows her rebellious spirit. Throwing convention to the wind, Killer Queen is a charmingly playful yet I can't even yet lethally gorgeous fl floriental fragrance. A full size is £29.50 for 50 mil. Um, and this is tiny. What size is that? It's got top notes of dark plum, wild berry, and bergamot. And then it's got red. The heart is red velvet flower, rainbow plumeria, natural jasmine, and the base is cashmere, natural patchouli, and liquid praline. Oh, so it sounds nice. It does sound nice. But look, it's teeny tiny. Look, that's the size of my finger. There. 
Look how tiny that is. But anyway, we shall, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Um, there are two little little sachets. Um, what are these? Illuminating Skin Finish Latte. Let's have a look. Okay, this multi product offers perfect coverage and a flawless medium bronzing to the skin with added broad spectrum SPF 25 while also creating an iridescent optical illusion as its subtle shimmering particles capture the light. So there we go, they are 3ml three mil, three mil sachets mm -hmm. um, and for Okay, I can right. It makes sense. For thirty mils, it is twenty nine ninety five. So, so yeah, <laughs> that's why you only get little six mils of of that. You know, I can understand. I mean, it's it is expensive, but that looks a bit not very impressive, does it, to get it in your box? Okay, so moving on. Next thing we've got Harmony. Moisturising Smoothie Serum. Um, what does that say? Um, multivitamin Smoothie Serum. Now, uh, this is a 20 mil. Okay, this is a 20 mil. A full size is 50 mil, so not much more. And that retails at £22.50. So, these are expensive products. But they, so they've only given you a little a little taste of sample of them. Um, let's see, what does it say? Prime is the world's first allergen-free brand, meaning that anything they produce is more than kind to the skin. This serum is the ultimate skin saviour for combination skin. Blended with grapeseed, the unique formula helps to soothe redness and hydrate the skin whilst keeping it matte and shine-free. Use morning and night as part of your daily skin routine to prep and protect skin before moisturising. Mix with liquid foundation to create a shine control natural BB cream. Okay. Next up. Is this little, little thingy? What is this? This is uh, a 20 mil again. And a full size is 50 mil, so again, not much bigger, which retails at 24.95. So, this primer is paraben free and has been formulated with light reflected, reflective mica particles and soft focus technology to brighten the complexion and add instant sheen and enhance your natural radiance. Other active ingredients include vitamin E to detoxify the skin and cassia alata leaf extract to protect and prevent oh, hold on. Yeah, to, pr to protect and prevent skin against UV damage. Use either alone under makeup or as a tinted moisturizer for a flawless illuminating finish. Apply to the face and neck in the morning after cleansing and toning using gentle upward movements. And then last but not least we have this little beauty, which is, now this is a 12 mil. Okay, this is a 12 mil, so this is the full size product, and that retails for five pounds fifty. And it is the Cherubs Blush Chick and Lip Tint by Me Me Me. Mmm, quite intrigued by this. Go from day to night with Me 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 Sultry Rouge Tint. Long-lasting and multifunctional, it also comes complete with a handy application brush, making it a perfect addition to your handbag for glamorous touch-ups on the go. Get those cheeks smiling and blend a small amount of the liquid in an upwards motion following your cheekbone. Apply to the lips with a small applicator brush to add a flush of colour. Mmm, so I'm really intrigued to, to try this, and that's quite cool. So, um, I pay, is it 12 95 including postage they market it that it retails the whole box at 10 pounds then obviously you've got postage so the whole box is 12 pounds 95 so last month in september you can see we did really well because we got all those full-size products um 
financial comparability we've done probably well this time because these teeny tiny products actually retail for quite a lot of money which well I say quite a lot of money but they seem a lot of money because they're small do you know what I mean um, I'm quite happy to pay you know 25 pounds for something if it's good and it works just when you see it looking that small you kind of think ah right okay so if you know what I mean so when I first opened the box I was a little bit disappointed because I was like oh these products are tiny but I'm gonna give them a good go and see and you never know I might find my new love um, and I'm really excited about this this looks really really cool so so yeah come back next month and I will do a review of this box and I'll also do an unopening of the November box November oh my god can you believe that um, so so yeah Thanks for watching, take care soon, bye.